Today, we're gonna show the TLR 8XT a little bit of love. We're going to rebuild the diffs, change the clutch shoes, place all the fluids, install a bearing kit, and we're going to add a sweet chassis wrap. This is gonna look cool, guys. This is gonna be sweet. Let's remove the body. And let's get cracking. That sounds sweet. It's a good thing we got those diff rebuild kits. Looks like the center diff is leaking. She stripped like 95% of the way. Just the quick change engine mount base is left. The chassis stiffener and the exhaust hanger. I probably could, should remove them, but I think it'll be fine like this. Then we will uh, clean this up, remove our old clear chassis wrap off this, and then install the new one. We're throwing the rear end back together. We got our arms here, and you can see the uh, arm inserts are actually swelling up a bit here. And they were just making a right mess because I had my axles setting close to the arms here, and you can see when the insert started to swell. It's starting to wear away at my drive shafts here. So, let's go to the stash. Oh man, check all these goodies out. These two things are going to be in a video very soon. Don't miss it. Oh, this is what we're looking for. 
these are arms that come with the mud guards. So I got some brand new arms here, new inserts. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer my old screws into the into these arms, and we'll uh, use these arms. So we got our brand new arms here, and here are our current hinge pins. These are just nasty looking. So I'm gonna show you how to clean these up real quick. So you get a drill. Open your chuck, throw your hinge pin in the chuck. Grab a piece of Scotch Brite. Brand new hinge pin. Well, the chassis wraps installed. Check that out. That looks awesome. Man, just check out that chassis. I can't stop looking at it. It's like, never mind. I don't have an analogy for this. It just looks way too cool. Check out Darkside Studios, man. This chassis looks awesome, and it's probably gonna last a lot longer. Like I said, it looks awesome. going through all my junk, I found these. Some Lunsford titanium turnbuckles. Sweet! to whip this front end into shape. Our center diff all cleaned up and honestly I should have filmed the disassembly uh, there was no oil in it and you can see where it looks like a rock got hungry or something started eating away at the diff case you can see there's a little bit of carnage there on the diff mount oh man how come the best parts don't get filmed there was like almost no oil in this thing. Hopefully it wasn't leaking from here. It looks like the gaskets were shot. So hopefully, hopefully that was it. So we got some brand new gaskets, brand new seals, new fluid, new bearings. Now one thing when you're rebuilding your diff or putting it together, make sure you just, it always helps just to put a little bit of anti-seize right here. Trust me, you'll thank me. These bearings seize on lots, and they're fun to get off. Don't leak on me this time. Don't do it. Mm. 
Man, this looks like a nightmare. And just like that, we're ready for an engine. What are we gonna find in here? Besides bad clutch bearings. Oh wow, those shoes aren't that bad. I think I might reuse these. Oh no. Don't be difficult. Oh no. This bearing is seized. Clean the clutch shoes and deburred them. And you know what? I think I'm going to run these this season. Uh, there's just lots of life left. There's no point in replacing them. I got new clutch shoes here. I have some new, a new set of stock clutch shoes. And I also have a set of these Dynamite uh, Max Life shoes. But really, there's no point. These are in fantastic shape. Just some new uh, clutch bell bearings. And we'll be off to the races. Much better. Ooh, still looks mint inside. This engine's been sitting for about uh, five months. And you can see everything's got like an awesome coating of oil on it. I just know I'm going to get some questions about this backplate. This is not the factory backplate from this engine. This is a custom-made backplate from AMR. Uh, I'll just compare it to the stock backplate real quick. This is the factory backplate off of this Novorossi Roma. You can see it has the Novorossi logo in the background, made in Italy. And here is the AMR backplate. What's special about this backplate, as you can see, it's got a hole partially drilled in the middle and two going down the sides, kind of like a V. And it also has a cutout for the piston to go into. This is a boost port backplate. This backplate's supposed to give you extra run time, better top end, better engine idle, and I mean, this thing just like sick. Couldn't help myself. I wanted to have a quick look at the piston and sleeve. And man, they just look in pristine condition. See the oils in the fuel just made a did an awesome job at protecting everything very good man this nova Rossi's have a beefy sleeve and no nothing's been cleaned everything's just straight over the engine nothing's been touched Maybe I should keep my eyes out for a rod. And just like that, she's ready for another year of bashing. Let's check it out. eye you would have noticed two things are missing the air filter that's dirty and needs to be cleaned and the pipe that's not good oh my whoops